there's a variety of functions inside of WordPress that relies on time-sensitive information. Uh, good example of this is the ability to schedule posts and pages to be published at a specific time. Now, because it's not a true cron job, uh, the way that it's handled inside of WordPress is that it's attached to the way that pages are accessed. So whenever a page inside of WordPress is accessed, uh, there's different things that are run. One of those is the WordPress cron. And this basically just triggers the PHP code to go, hey, there's this uh, page or post that should have been published 15 minutes ago, uh, but we're going to do that now. Uh, because it's not a true cron job, you don't have too much direct control over it. You are relying on the amount of traffic you have to control those type of functions. And this could also be a double-edged sword. Um, in many cases, the amount of traffic that your website does receive, if you have a large website with a lot of traffic, uh, could also force your website to exceed the amount of resources that you have available to work with in a shared environment, which could also, in very rare cases, um, trigger certain terms of service violation uh, rules, which you want to avoid as much as possible. Not to mention, not because of that, but primarily because of your website's performance. All right, so the way we avoid that is that we're just going to completely uh, turn off that feature inside of WordPress and we're going to enable a proper true cron job. So how do we do this? Let's go ahead and first take a look at uh, your cPanel account and uh, go into the file manager. You can use, uh, you can do this through FTP as well uh, but in this case we're basically just going to go into the file manager and look for our configuration file. So here we're going to look for a file called wp-config. This is the file that contains the hard-coded configurations for your WordPress installation. I'm going to right-click on it and select Code Edit. I'm going to click the Edit button. And in here, the uh, actual definition for this uh, a function is not declared, so we'll have to add it ourselves and uh, we just paste it at the bottom of the configuration file somewhere. Somewhere around here is good. We don't want to go past this line that says uh, stop editing happy blogging. We're just going to put any new uh, instructions above that. So we're going to paste uh, this bit of code here. It's basically just a function. So by placing this function into our WP settings file, and making sure that it's set to true, uh, we have effectively disabled it. So let's go ahead now and uh, hit the save button to make our changes live. All right, so now let's go ahead and close this window. Uh, our settings have been applied and we can continue. We no longer need our file manager, so we're gonna go back to the C panel and take a look at the cron jobs area. And scroll down to the advanced section in your C panel and click on cron jobs. In here, we will go to the commands section and put in this command, wget dash q space dash capital O space dash, and then we're going to put the website URL. This is your website domain name. All right. Slash wp dash cron dot php question mark doing underscore wp underscore cron all right this is a command that's going to be run via the wget option in your linux server we want this to run maybe every 30 minutes or so that should be a good indicator you don't want to set it up for uh, anything lower than 15 minutes because you also don't want to be constantly running this uh, function um, every hour, every day, almost every month, uh, every weekday sounds fine. So this should be good. Uh, when you click add new cron job, this uh, new cron job is going to be run based on the schedule you provided. 
and it will also send you an email letting you know that that cron job has been run now obviously you don't want to receive an email every 30 minutes on something that you know it's going to be happening so while you're testing it that's fine you can leave it as is but what I recommend is adding this little bit of code here which you can copy and paste at the end of your command which will make your command run silently Put a little space there to separate it and paste it at the end of your command and then click the add new cron job button now our new cron job will run every 30 minutes and it will not send us an email. It will, that email will be suppressed. So that's it. We just leave it running and uh, every 30 minutes our WordPress installation is going to basically update itself. If you have any uh, scheduled tasks that need to be run, then they're going to be run at that time. And that's it. That is how you replace a WordPress's uh, pseudo cron job with a real cron job that is handled by your server.